Welcome to a seamless integration between SOLIDWORKS and KeyShot 5. This video will demonstrate how to use live linking to improve speed and efficiency when working simultaneously between CAD and KeyShot. The SOLIDWORKS live linking plugin is free to download from keyshot.com slash plugins. Select the appropriate version and run the installer. Now launch SOLIDWORKS and open the part or assembly you wish to render. If KeyShot 5 doesn't appear in your tools menu, go to Tools, Add-ins, and make sure the KeyShot 5 plugin is active and set to Open on Startup. Under the KeyShot menu, you'll find Render, Export, and Update. Click Render to launch KeyShot and your part or assembly will be imported centered and snapped to ground with original size and the appropriate model units automatically applied to your scene. If there is an error in connection, go to Preferences, Advanced, and make sure Live Linking is enabled and the port range is 3141 to 3151. If you're seeing jagged edges, you can improve tessellation quality back in SOLIDWORKS. Go to Options, Document Properties, Image Quality, and increase the settings. In Assembly Mode, you must select the components that were affected by the image quality adjustments before clicking Update to successfully push over the changes. KeyShot Pro provides the advantage of working with a low image quality for higher performance and simply enabling NURBS when ready to render for perfectly smooth results. If your part file has multiple materials, apply appearances in SOLIDWORKS so subparts with common materials will be linked when sent to KeyShot. For example, this part called Air Channel is composed of two bodies that are intended to be the same material in KeyShot. Applying the same appearance or color in SOLIDWORKS will ensure the parts materials are linked in KeyShot. You can also apply appearances on the face level to split out faces to behave as separate parts. Like the image quality adjustments, in assembly mode, you must select the components that were affected to successfully update the changes. Linking materials from multiple parts in an assembly should be done in KeyShot. Just like the native importer, assembly names and structure are maintained. And as you can see, the separated face is split out as a subpart. When using live linking, you can apply materials, lighting, even move parts and assign animations. Now, when feature changes are made in SOLIDWORKS, click update to push them over. Select individual components that have incurred changes before clicking update to avoid sending the entire assembly. After an update, materials, lighting, position, and animation will be retained, but keep in mind that materials may not behave as expected if unlinked from their original grouping in KeyShot. To ensure speed and stability when working with live linking, avoid running multiple sessions of KeyShot. Both SOLIDWORKS and KeyShot can be closed and reopened, maintaining live linking functionality, 
As long as the key shot scene tree structure and SOLIDWORKS part or assembly name remains unchanged. If your CAD application and key shot are running on different machines, use the export function to save a BIP file, which will import to KeyShot faster than a part or assembly file. This method also allows updating. Export the adjusted model with the same name, making sure not to overwrite the original. When importing, use the Update Geometry option to update changes to your existing model. Or if you'd like to keep all variations in your scene tree, use the Add to Scene option using Original Size, Center, Snap to Ground, and Retain Materials. In KeyShot 5, powerful features like Live Linking enhance your rendering workflow and expand the possibilities of what you can create. Download the free SOLIDWORKS plugin now at keyshot.com slash plugins.